Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to automatically convert video clips in Adobe Media Encoder. So what we can do with this is that we can actually have a file or a folder that we put on the watch list right here. And whenever you add footage to that watch list into that folder, just anywhere on your desktop, you just drag new clips into that folder, Media Encoder will actually take all of those, those clips and it'll convert them into whatever forms that you need them converted into. Maybe you you have a bunch of 4K clips and you need them down converted into uh, 1080p, or maybe you need them converted really, really low into like thumbnail clips, something you could just quickly send over line on like an online message system. There's a whole lot of different possibilities of what you might need, and this will do it all for you. So let's get started. This is really easy, and it's a feature that a lot of people don't know exists within Adobe Media Encoder. So if we go over here, Let's go ahead and create ourselves a new folder. So I'm gonna right click, go to new folder, and we're just gonna name it watch. All I have to do is take the watch folder and drag it over here into watch folders. This is a view. If you go up to window, you'll see right here, watch folders. Make sure that's selected. It might be down here uh, in, in the bottom right panel or maybe in the bottom left panel. But in this situation, it's right up here in watch folders in the top right panel. I'm gonna click and drag it over into the watch folders and you'll notice that it adds inside the queue down here. Now this is just a list of all the folders that Media Encoder is looking out for. It's looking out for changes that happen in this folder. Once the changes, once it recognizes changes, it'll automatically begin processing. Right down here is the list of outputs. So if you'll notice, there's already an output folder within here. Uh, right when we dragged it in, Media Encoder went ahead and created this folder for us and you'll see that by default, it's going to create an H.264 uh, high bit rate source and it's going to send it right into that output folder. We can create as many folders like this as we want. Let's go with a one just, we just call like um, maybe low res, so we'll go low res. And then if we go over here into this, we can click on, if we go back into the watch folders, we can click on our watch folder here in the list and then go to add output, this little button in the top left of the panel. And then now we have another sort of folder or another, uh, it's gonna go down the list and it's going to first convert it into this and then we can convert it into this. So let's go into here and let's just go with match source adaptive low bit rate. So now this is a really, really low quality version. I can click on output folder. It's gonna bring up where we wanna put it. And we're just going to go back and click low res click select folder, and you'll see that now the output goes there. And we can create 50, 100, 200 of these. Now, of course, it's going to take substantially longer because every single clip that we add is gonna have to go down this list, but if we need it for our production, then that is perfectly okay. Add as many as you need into here. Next thing we need to do is we need to just drag some footage in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these videos right here. This is just some videos from a trip to Japan, and we can drag them all right into the folder, uh, the folder root. So what I mean by that is we don't want to put it in one of the subfolders. We just want to drag them right into the empty space. So we're going to click it, drag it on over, and then it's going to copy all the videos in there. And you can see that the videos have started transforming in here. And look at this. They're already beginning encoding. Even though we're still copying, the encoding has already started. We have finished up the encoding. Uh, I went ahead and just jumped so that the encoding was done because it was messing with the way that it was recording my screen. But what you'll notice over here is that all of the files that we dragged over are completely gone. All that's left is the files that it can't convert, which are XML files. What it's done is every time it converted a file, it has added it into the source, which has then is just the original one. So it actually moves it out of here. Otherwise, it would just keep converting it over and over and over again. And you'll notice that it creates this little file structure of when they're all completed as well. Then we can go into our output and you'll see that it has the four converted ones in the where we sent the output, which was the match source high bit rate. And then in the low res, we have the four that are with the adaptive low bit rate. And there we have it. That's how simple it is. You drag everything in, it begins the conversions, it moves everything for you, and it puts them all in the right folders. A really easy process and something that is great to have if you're constantly converting your videos. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.